Our paper is about how we build a domain-specific architecture for network packet processing, leveraging the ABPF open interface and take it from the software to the hardware. So by doing this, we take it from CPUs or general purpose computing architectures and we push it to domain-specific architecture, which are tailored to execute ABPF bytecode. So we take the packet processing power of a BPF and just accelerate that into a dedicated hardware platform. By offloading that kind of workload from the CPU, from the data center to dedicated hardware architectures, we can make a huge impact in terms of energy efficiency and in terms of performance. HXDP is basically a, a very simple hardware architecture that takes packets in, processes them, and gets packets down. You can decide how your packets got modified, if your packets have to be dropped, if your packets have to be passed, and all sorts of complicated behavior. And HXDP is very, very efficient at doing that, and it can store now billions of flows. The most important thing is that it exposes open programming interface, which is called ABPF, to the end user. So it's really simple to program, it's really simple to deploy, but you get the same amount of performance of the hardware. We are thinking about network interfaces cards, data processing units, and even general purpose CPUs, which will have HXDP sitting as a yet another accelerator on the chip. Microsoft has been one of the first industry leaders to advocate and deploy FPGAs inside their data center network with astonishing performance improvements. The fact that uh, HXDP uses only a fraction of the FPGA resources was a careful design choice. So complexity has to be somewhere. My HXDP design principle were to keep the hardware simple, adapt the ISA to simplify the hardware design, and move the complexity from the hardware to the software. And we expanded that work and we managed to get 16 HXDP core on a single FPGA. To evaluate the real world scenarios, we took Facebook's load balancer, which is called Catran, and we managed to run it into HXDP, again, with very impactful performance. The test results show a significant performance improvement. We are able to match a single core CPU running at 2.1 gigahertz. Latency is very, very low. We are talking about one to two order of magnitudes lower than uh, a standard server. We plan to push HXDP forward into a, a commercial environment. We already founded a company in US which is called Axbrid. So the main goal is to truly push it into the data center. So by Partnering with the hyperscaler and data center operators and telecom operators, we truly believe that by pushing this kind of technology inside their data pad, we can optimize their entire workload. Find out more in HXDP, Efficient Software Packet Processing on FPGA NIX. A Research Highlights article in the August 2022 communications of the ACM. Thank you.